There's no better way to honor the late Naomi Judd than through song. That's Naomi's husband, Larry Strickland, and in this video, I'll not only be covering that singing moment, but more about the couple's relationship. But first, I want to touch on daughter Ashley Judd's post that housed this singing moment. On Sunday, May 1st, Ashley and Winona Judd honored their mother as the Judds were inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. There were tears shed with the accompaniment of laughter. We've covered both the happy and the sad of this moment in our previous recaps. I'll leave them in the description section to check out after. Quote, your outpouring is reaching me. Thank you for every thought, prayer, message, text, email, post, expression. We each are alone and we are in fellowship, broken and held, protected from nothing and sustained in everything. It's the beginning of an old story, life and death, loss and life. Ashley Judd wrote on Instagram, and with a remembrance table set up with a silhouette cut out of Naomi when she was younger, they sang hymns. Sweet I'm looking down. How Great Thou Art, led by Strickland. Hit that thumbs up button if you loved Naomi Judd. If there's a favorite song of yours that the Judds sing, feel free to let us know in the comment section of this video. Judd and Strickland said I do at Christ Chapel in Nashville in 1989, both of the Judd's daughters, Ashley and Winona, serving as bridesmaids. This was Judd's second marriage, previously married to Michael Simonella, but they would go on to divorce in 1972. And then I married my high school sweetheart, got divorced, and had two babies, pretty much one on each hip but her marriage to Strickland would stand the test of time. Noting to Closer Weekly in 2013, quote, Larry and I are both from a family of six, very blue collar. He worked in the tobacco fields every summer. My daddy had his own gas station and taught me the hard work ethic. Larry is the most humble person I've ever met. More on Strickland, he's a singer as well. Starting out singing gospel music, his official webpage noting, quote, he started singing with gospel quartets traveling all over the state of North Carolina until he was forced to join the military in 1966. According to the Associated Press, Strickland was a backup singer for Elvis Presley. His bio page mirrors that sentiment. Strickland has been by his wife's side all through her battle with mental health. When Naomi would go on to do an interview with Good Morning America in 2016, there was Strickland right by her side, holding her hand. And when host Robin Roberts asked him what advice he had to those who were helping a loved one through depression, he said, quote, get ready to walk that path with them because they're going to need you every minute. And he kept that promise until the end. While Strickland hasn't made any public remarks yet on his wife's passing, singing in remembrance of his late wife was fitting. If you haven't, feel free to leave condolences for Naomi's family and friends in the comment section of this video before you go. Let's show them some love from Taste of Country. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.